I'm Joe Slation, Managing Editor of the Wabash Plain Dealer, bringing you tomorrow's headlines for Wednesday, May 7th. Most of the stories in uh, Wednesday's newspaper have to deal with the uh, primary election which took place on Tuesday. In that, uh, in that election, uh, the hot, most uh, interesting and most watched uh, race was that for Wabash County Sheriff. In that race, uh, in Republican incumbent Robert Land received uh, 2,567 votes, easily outdistancing uh, his two opponents, Walter Woods and Tim Eubank, to uh, retain the Republican nomination for the fall election. Uh, in addition to the sheriff's race, there were three uh, contested Wabash County Council races. In one race, uh, Newcomer Matt Dillon defeated uh, Republican incumbent Jim Kaltenmark, 538 to 349. So Dillon won the nomination for the fall race. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Claude Markstaller and Jeff Dawes, both incumbents, won uh, re-election to the uh, renomination for the Republican Party for the council's first and second district races or count. Second district district seats, respectively. Mark Stoller defeated uh, Republican challenger Tony DeLauder, three hundred ninety-two to one hundred and seventy-three, while Dawes defeated uh, Phil Dale, four hundred and thirty-four to three hundred and ninety-one. One other uh, race for county council featured Kyle Bowman, a newcomer to the uh, council race. Uh, he ran unopposed in the council's 4th district seat and automatically uh, advances to the fall uh, election ballot. Likewise, uh, Republican uh, County Commissioner incumbent Scott Givens ran unopposed uh, for he, to retain his county commissioner's seat, uh, or for the chance to retain his county commissioner's seat in the fall, as did uh, Lori Draper, county recorder, Elaine Martin, clerk of the county court, William C. Hartley Jr., a Wabash County Prosecutor, Chris, <coughs> excuse me, and Chris uh, Goff, uh, Judge for the Superior Court, and Kelly Schenkel, a Wabash County Assessor Candidate. Uh, also running unopposed were uh, U.S. Representative Jackie Walorski, uh, U.S. Senator, or, I'm sorry, State Senator from District 17, Jim Banks and State Representative from District 18, David Wilkins. There was only one race on the, uh, or one major race in the Democratic ticket in the uh, primary, that for U.S. Uh, State Representative District 2. In that race, Joe Bach uh, gathered the most uh, votes in Wabash County, 138, compared to Douglas Carpenter's, 82, Bob Kern's, 89, and Dan Morrison's 96. Those votes will be lumped in with the votes from the uh, other counties around the district to determine who will uh, face Walorski in the fall. In another election-related story, Secretary of State Connie Lawson on uh, Tuesday afternoon visited the vote center at the Wellbrook from uh, Wabash uh, location and had some glowing reports about uh, vote centers overall in the state of Indiana and uh, those uh, in Wabash County which uh, are rather new well this is actually the first time that the vote centers have been used in Wabash County you can find out more on those and other stories in the Plain Dealer on Wednesday May 6th again thank you for watching